peace and blessings. Blessings and blessings, family. Preston Smiles here. I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their circumstances. And today's transmission is why you keep procrastinating plus how to break the habit slash cycle that keeps coming your way. Now, I want to start by saying um, when I was 33, I'm in my 40s now. Um, uh, yeah, you know, young and sexy. When I was 33, I moved back in with my mom because I, um, I recognized that I was super talented, heart was in the right place, but something just wasn't clicking. And first and foremost, just type me in the comments, wherever you're watching this, if this already feels like you. Heart's in the right place, you got talent, you, you, you have a general direction of where you want to go, but somehow, some way, I just kept sabotaging it. And so I moved back in with my mom because I made a big decision about my life. I, I decided that I was going to go all in, that I was going to go pro. I was going to start the process of building the somatic body that could hold everything I say I desired and then some. And what I discovered was I needed to um, rewire some of my brain, a lot of it, um, and unlearn some of the habits that I had picked up from um, childhood, environment, friends, family, school, etc. Now, all of us, I'm, I'm not special, all of us have that. And what is important to take note of is more than likely you are procrastinating because you're experiencing more stress than normal. We procrastinate oftentimes because we've got a lot going on and the body knows that. The body is experiencing the stress. And so the mind and the body go into cahoots and they're like, yo, you could either do your work or you could scroll through the internet for the next 52 hours and <laughs> it's up to you. Um, and obviously as a form of stress relief, just sort of zoning out feels better in the moment at some level than doing the thing that you believe may cause, mm, let it land, may cause more stress, which may cause more procrastination. So it's this vicious cycle. So how slash why do we beat this? We beat it by one, stopping and just taking a big deep breath and counting down from five, four, three, two, one, interrupting the pattern, interrupting the prefrontal cortex and giving ourselves just a little bit of space. Now I take this even further and what I'll do is I'll burst into what I call, uh, I have my clients do this all the time. They set joy alarms. So every three to four hours, I have my clients set an alarm in their phone, the alarm goes off, they burst into joy, reasonless joy, or if you have a reason, sure, go into it. But the point is, is to change our physiology, is to transform our physiology before we make a decision. You see, if we make the decision from stress and anxiety and overwhelm, more than likely, we're not going to make the decision, and if we are, the decision's going to be to watch uh, dogs driving and, you know, ducks chasing people and monkeys beating dudes up on motorcycles, right? That is more than likely going to be the decision. So we change our physiology, we breathe, we count down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, giving the mind and interrupting the prefrontal cortex, we burst into instant joy. Do it right now. Do it with me. Allow yourself to feel the joy right now. Feel the feelings of I'm alive. What? So many people didn't wake up. Somebody went to bed last night. So, a lot of somebodies went to bed last night with plans for today and they didn't get up and you did. Oof, that is just enough right there. Are you in a room? Are you watching this on a phone? That's amazing. What? You have a phone? You have a room? You have a refrigerator? Do you have clothes on? What? There are people right now begging for clothes. Are you kidding me? Oh, I just, just feel the blessings, feel the joy. Allow yourself to just experience that and then you ask yourself this question. What's the one thing I can do right now 
such that by doing that one thing, it creates space and room for everything else. Meaning, everything else that I quote unquote have to do, some of it I may not have to do. Powerful questions always lead to powerful answers. So asking yourself out of all of the things, right? Because you're procrastinating because you have a whole list. First and foremost, I don't have a whole list. I have a success list and that usually only has three things on it. After the three things are done, then I begin to look around my life and notice what else could be done. But the three things I have on that list are three things that move the needle that will move the needle for today, next week, next month, and for the year, whatever goal I have set for the year. That's how I calibrate what to do and what not to do. And so you ask yourself, what's the one thing I can do today such by doing it, it may make everything else easier or unnecessary. And then you take one step for three minutes, just three minutes, get yourself going. It's like walking into the gym, right? The biggest part of the battle is getting to the gym. After that, you're going to do something and something is better than no thing at some level. Right? So let all of that land, please drop a comment below. I'll have more videos about this, uh, but please drop a comment below and just share what's landing for you in this. What are you hearing that's coming alive? What are you hearing that's feeling good? And if you're new to this vibe, new to the family, new to the, the Love's Voice family, make sure you click that red subscribe button and leave a comment and a thumbs up so that uh, the algorithm shows this to more people. I love you all so much, truly, from my heart to yours. You got this, one step at a time. You're, 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 you're thinking way too far in advance. Just what's, what's necessary? And I'll just do a little bit of that and then notice what occurs. Love you all. Peace and blessings.